Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more Blind Gaming. Today we're playing Fallout 4, for the PC of course. We're playing on survival difficulty, and this is, I believe, part 5 of our series. Hooray! So, we are on a quest. Now, I apologize, um, I was recording last video, I'm, I'm sure it's some keybind that did it, but it stopped recording part way in. So, um, all we did, though, is we went over the crafting system and cleaned up Sanctuary. Dub bit. You know, we kind of went around and cleaned up all the fallen crap. And again, by doing a simple um, holding V down or going into the middle mouse button, we open up this menu. And uh, you can build all sorts of stuff. You just need the materials. And you can break stuff down by, get out of it. by walking up to it and simply um, you know see it highlighted and then breaking it down just like that so you get wood from that from all sorts of stuff and I'm not sure I haven't really done it I think you can drop your crap on the ground and uh, do the same thing just uh, disassemble it or disassemble it so um, let's get out of here he had us make some beds so if you go into the menu you can see up at the top says we have 20 beds. And I had plenty of uh, cloth. And as you can see here, I can still make uh, 13 more beds. All right, so now, um, you know, he has us on another one here. He wants us to make clean water. Oops. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in our little menu. We're going to go to resources and then water. And then I would recommend doing this. Um, you can do other types of water um, generating. But as you can see, you need, um, like here, you need science. Here you don't need anything, but you do need power. A little lightning bolt there. So you'll need a generator to run it. Um, I can actually make it so because you need oil and all that. And we did get that throughout our journey. So why don't we do this? I'll show you where this goes. This will be a big chunk of water. Now, now you actually need water to put this in to make this work. And this is one of the few settlements you can actually do that. Okay, now you need you need some power. And then we'll just set up a little generator right about here. And then what you do is you just attach a wire by pressing space bar. And there you go. Now you have some water being purified in this uh, radioactive environment which is pretty cool now when you get invaded I don't know if um, the uh, enemies can actually blow your generators up or whatever but um, and you can see up at the top this is water 10 so that's pretty cool so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some more water um, spigots or spouts but we're gonna uh, do it without needing power should just follow the light so we'll set up some water pumps right here okay cool there we go so we got a bunch of these for people in the center of town to get what they want. And then we got a water filtration system in the back. I don't know if that automatically puts purified water in your workshop because you I can feel go better already. No, we have a reliable You can go into water. here and you can put whatever, you know, in here. I don't know if purified water will just show up over here. Here's your inventory and then here's all sorts of stuff here. 
I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. I'll start planting right away. Good deal. Okay. So, I've been collecting since I explored... Ooh, this huge area. I found a few crop pastures in the wilderness and other uh, settlements, I believe, where I was able to pick all the produce. Now, where is it over here? You're going to come across settlements that have planted stuff. You can just pick, growing well. pick them, and that will give you the seeds or whatever so that you could replant them. And you just keep doing that. So after so many days, it'll produce food. You can just take it and use that to plant elsewhere, and then they'll both grow, and then you continue on like that. So you'll build up your food supply. It's slow at first, but um, it's not too bad. Actually, you know what? We're going to get rid of him. Hey. Sure. Let me just stop what I'm doing to talk to you. I'm being How you doing, buddy? Leave me alone. Might be best if we split up for a while, boy. Okay, All right. I didn't need him anyways. Um, he does do some cool stuff like uh, tell you where things are of interest and, oh boy, I'm sorry. He'll pin enemies for you, but companions seem to get in the way. I don't like them because they get in the doorways and whatnot. Okay, so back to food. So, get out of here. Food. And then you can go through what you have. Like right here, we can do 21 corn, which by this point in the game you will not have unless you did like I did and start looking. Come on. more rows there we go Let's see here. Okay, we've got two of these, so we can start. put two there and then next time we'll come through we'll pick up we'll pick the plants get two more and then we've got I thought I had a lot more than five so I picked a lot of tomatoes So we've got plenty of food going. Um, oh, we better assign her. Let's assign her to the corn. So we click her. And then we have a person doing corn. And you're going to get more people in here. You can sign other tasks. But to begin with, this is probably as good as it's going to get. See, they're already sleeping. Is 
That's got to be a really good sleep for them, too. Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. It'll make everyone feel more secure here. Okay. So let's go set up some defenses. Now we're going to set them up in the entrance. It depends on how many we can make because I'll set up a couple areas. I think as you level you get, you get more AP. It seems like I'm able to run a lot more. Okay, anyways. So you can see the only thing in red right now is defense, and they made this quest line so that it would take care of everything. Um, actually, in case you guys are wondering about food, I think, yeah, this this one right here, is it? I'm trying to think what one it was. No, it might have been this one here, this uh, bluff. Um, it's a settlement. It's not your settlement, and they have a pasture of uh, a crop, so you can pick and then bring the seeds back and plant them here to get through that food quest. I know I had trouble figuring that out, but I thought I'd share that, that little tidbit. Okay. So now we go to defenses. You got a couple things that you can do. Uh, looks like we need gears for that. Can't make a damn thing. We need gears. Gosh dang it. What am I not doing here? Let's get out of here. Let me see if my uh, stash is some. Gotta have gears. One. I had one gear. Oh god. Maybe I got some here. Let's see. Uh, I don't want to store everything. Copper glass. I think this shows us what it can be broken down. Sets. Wood. All right. Well, you know what? We'll pause the video. I'll mess around and get some gears, and then uh, we'll get back to it. So I will see you guys in a second. Okay, guys. We are back. Um, I believe I got the gears I needed. I got a whole shitload of them. I just assembled a whole bunch of crap. So, let's see if we can make them. I think I have 40-something of them. Oh, I got 50. I must have had 49. Okay, so you can make... Oh, uh, heavy artillery. Oh, I'm missing stuff. I was like, why can't I show? Yeah, a couple things here. They all require electricity except the first two. And one is two more defense. Now let's look over. The requirements are a little higher. I have a ton of steel. Holy crap. Oh, 
That's going to be only two of them we can make because I don't have much oil. So let's do that. That's what we'll do. So hopefully that'll be enough defense. We'll just I'll come back later and make when I get more oil. Okay. So we should be able to make four of these. Let's do two there. And let's do two up by our little main headquarters. I think that was enough. Hey, Sturgis. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. Go back to bed. Well, there we go. There's our little intro to the settlements quest line. We got to see some uh, um, settlement crafting or whatever you want to call it. That's how you get started with your settlement. I'm probably only going to put work into this, this place and not anybody else. Because if I remember right from the Minutemen stuff... Um, it doesn't matter if you have them up on their defenses or even more than their just normal defense line like you put it extra into defenses so let's say right now our defense is at 20 let's say you put 200 defense into a settlement doesn't matter you'll still get a quest to help them out because they can't defend themselves which is funny because you walk up they're getting invaded and your turrets are mowing them right down it's pretty funny so it's like why did I come here just to turn a quest in so it's like easy experience so I'm talking about by the time I come back I'm gonna be my level 30 something no doubt because I'm gonna start banging the, um, the quests out actually what I'll probably do let's just uh, let's see here talk to blah 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 the other one right here yeah, kill the raiders so we'll do that but I'll probably next video I'll start with this one and then I'll do this one and then you guys can see how you'll go to Turnalman from whatever his name is there and he'll give you two more and then two more and then two more and then two more and before you know it you know the levels just melt so I'll do those and then I'll probably just level grind and I'll get into the 30s fairly easy because I still want to pump tons of perks perk points into my tree but guys I hope you're enjoying this this video probably won't get watched a lot because a lot of people know how to craft but I thought I'd include it I want to make sure you guys know how to do everything as I promise on my video series even if it's been out it hasn't been out that long, but I know a lot of people out there already got the game and know this. So, but if it's helped anybody, it makes me happy. So without further ado, guys, um, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, as always, later.